Hey, they're going to be talking about how to remove the panel and uh, speaker replacement on a 2008 Mini Cooper Clubman uh, S. So, uh, forms have said that this is a a five and a half, but it's actually a four inch here, and then this is a six and a half inch. Um, for this one, I did have to uh, drill another hole down at the bottom here um, for the factory screw to hold in the speaker itself, but the two other factory screws uh, worked just fine. Uh, for the six and a half down here, um, I drilled a hole up at the top to pass the uh, wires through, and then drilled um, the four different uh, smaller holes, and I used the uh, the screws that came with the, the speakers to hold these in. Um, but to remove the panel, it's fairly simple. Um, this whole side and this is all just one piece. So you just pop that off. There's no uh, tools or anything like that. You do have to pop this little pin out right here though. Um, either use a screwdriver uh, flathead or a uh, panel popper itself and this will, this will pop off itself. So that's how you get to the six and a half speaker. For the four inch speaker, you just pop this off right here. Uh, I just used a panel popper as well, and this just one piece itself. You don't have to mess with the uh, the armrest at all. Um, so that's it for the door, and it's pretty much the other same side for the driver's side. For the rear here, for the actual third door, um, you'll have to remove this panel right here. There's a screw up here, and then once you remove this, there's a, another screw that's right back here. Once that's off, you can pop off the panel itself, and then this will get you to your 6.9 uh, speaker itself. Um, the factory holes and screws uh, worked fine with this, so I just used that. Um, and then same thing for this side, 6.9, and then we'll walk around. So to get to the back, uh, driver side speaker, you do have to take this off there'll be a screw back here pop off this panel screw right there take that off um, then you'll be able to take this whole portion off itself and then uh, lower the seat down there will be a pin up here as well um, that you just use a panel remover and then you'll move the seat down and then there'll be two little pins on the side that you'll see very easily um, so you'll have to have that removed to be able to remove the panel up there to get to that speaker And then so you'll have to remove the airbag little thing up here. There'll be a screw back there. Remove this itself. And then there'll be a screw like right back here underneath this uh, seatbelt thing. Um, once you remove that, then you can just pop off the rest of the panel. And then it'll goes all the way back there. Um, I removed the, uh, the seat itself to help uh, with the ease of moving the panel back. And then installed the uh, speaker back here and that's pretty much it for the rear speaker for back here just put everything in back in reverse um, these has like little metal clips up here I just uh, tighten them up with a a um, some pliers to like kind of close them and make it tighter again so that way they can slide back on up top up here to keep the panel tight and then for the driver door same thing so four inch six and a half inch you just got to watch out for your uh, mirror adjuster right here whenever you're popping that off but again still got the little pin up here that you'll have to pop out um, and that's pretty much it uh, I just cut the the wires myself and then just uh, spliced them via that way and removed the the factory uh, wiring harness but uh, if you have any questions comments let me know